All right, hey there guys, it's Metro, and we are back, and I'm just leaving this zone, I don't even want to be here, honestly, I I don't know, it just doesn't interest me, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to gain any significant amount of rep here, I, although I don't know why, like, I don't, I don't know why, it's all dwarf quests, so we might come back here at some point, but um, I don't have as much time now to play as I wanted to today, so we're going to go right to Western Plaguelands, I want to do Western Plaguelands, and uh, I want to get one of those videos recorded so I can start editing them, so... Let's get to it. We have a, uh, however long this takes to do, so I don't know. Um, this might be a couple hours. Uh, so it is 3 o'clock. We, hopefully we'll finish it. We might actually not finish it. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem for me recording-wise. I don't actually know how long it takes to finish a zone. Um, I've not even really paid attention when we've been finishing these zones, but... I would say I could go at least an hour and a half, if not longer than that, but I do need to... Probably be off by 4.30 the most, so I can get, I need to get changed and get gas and do a bunch of stuff before we go golf, but I'd love to get off around maybe like 5.30ish, I guess. I don't know. I was hoping to play a little later tonight because it was, uh, yesterday when I got there it was so busy, but I'm not sure. The problem is I've been eating it, you know, pushing, pushing food back substantially for that, so that's not, not perfect. Okay, so anyway, let's go. We have a, a trip ahead of us here. We're going to go to just follow this river, and then we cut up this road. That's how we always used to get there. Uh, but it doesn't look like the zone starts there, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that in that respect. We'll find out, I guess. But yeah, it's definitely not going to... definitely does not look like it just starts there. Which is strange. Show when camp you would think would be where it would start, but scourge first, horde later. So probably should not be stopping for 800 experience. You fill this up. Get some water on the way. Wild horses. I bet you can't tame one of those, huh? You won't tame one, no balls. All right, let me fill this up. This is actually my last allocation of water here too, so we're we're dry now after this. Actually, just a little bit left in there. Man, it's too difficult to drink out of that. Too big. Okay, no problem. Let's head out, and we have a uh, a full zone to tackle. Hopefully, it'll be interesting. She wouldn't mind. Just quickly taking a look at what's going on over here. Nothing, I guess. Bathra the Wind Watcher. That's the same dude who's always been there, so. Not a thing. Come down here and summon a Wind Elemental or something. I've always loved, the, like I said, Elementals and Dragons. Those are the things that Classic does the best. Well, there's a lot of things it does pretty well. Story-wise, it's always very interesting, a lot of zones. But, yeah, those two Elementals and Dragons just feel so important in Classic. And that just completely falls away. Although, to be fair, if you play a Shaman in Legion, it does kind of come back. Uh, there's a big, big, big stuff going on with Elementals if you're a Legion uh, Shaman in the Order Hall. And uh, dragons, probably nothing past Cataclysm that I can remember. Terragosa is probably like the last big moment. Which I've never done. I'd love to get some of these legendaries now that you can transmog. But the one I want is never dropping, it seems. Thunder Fury, I literally never get it. So I don't know what's going on. All right, we're almost there. Actually, we didn't cut across properly. So we're just on the other side of Uther's tomb, which is fine. There's a bunch of rares here. Let's see if we can't get those out of the way before we start. I 
wonder if Skullomance actually has any stuff in it at all anymore. Cloth. Belts. Yeah, definitely. Not worth it over the male one we have on. And one more rare on the way. And then we'll have to turn everything off and get going. Iron. What? Sit down there. Uh, it's, it's, I don't even know what this is. This is actually here in classic. Foul main. Very strange looking ghoul. This is definitely not here in classic. This is like a wrath mob. It's hitting quite hard. Oh, Templar. That's plate. Okay. Yes, obviously we want plate. First actual plate BOE we've gotten. It's probably just endemic of the zone, I guess, right? Yeah, this is just so much nicer. Oh look, there's not even not even enemies here. What the hell's going on here? Oh Miranda the Hack's still here. Good day to you. That's strange. What Very the hell? Good. Oh, there's Marlene Redpath as well. What the hell? The house is just shut up now. Wow, they really changed this area, huh? This is like a no no longer a hostile area. I'm very interested in doing these quests now. Looks like they're redoing this building too, but <laughs> that's strange. It's actually funny how they did that, where it's like, okay, we don't actually have a new model for this building, so we're just going to put like structures around it to make it look like there's construction going on here, but it's never going to happen. We have no new model. Okay, so let's figure out where what we do to actually start this zone. What are these quests? I don't want to pick up quests well, that nice. Eastern Plague Lands, right? See you around. That's that's the leader for the next zone. See you later. You need something? Battle for Anderhall. I'm gonna gamble and assume that this is some lead in. Hold on, let's see if there is a lead in. I should be able to pick it up, right? Eastern, Western Plague Lands. Okay, we'll start with this. Let me get everything set up here. By order of His Royal Highness King Anduin Wren, all able-bodied citizens of the Alliance are to report to Therison... No, Thessarian? By, by order of His Royal Highness King Anduin Wren, all able-bodied citizens of the Alliance are to report to Thessarian at Anderhal. On the heels of our early victories in Anderhal, the Forsaken have decided to launch a counterattack. Your help is needed to beat back the Scourge and Horde and reclaim lost Anderhal. To reach Anderhal, travel north through the Hillsbrad foothills and allow... Okay, we'll just cut this part out. We don't need that part. We know how to get there. We're already here. Yeah, so that was the actual lead-in. Okay, cool. Good one.
was gonna say, it looks like it should have phased. Well met. There's much to be done here. Both of our enemies are relentless and would slaughter us without mercy the moment we sheath our blades. Dark Master Ganling of the Cult of the Dam leads the Scourge Offensive here in Anderhal. My old counterpart, Kultura, leads the Forsaken Forces. If we're to win in Anderhal, we'll have to defeat both, but we'll certainly fall if we take on both at once. I know Kultura well enough to know that he will focus on the Scourge first. We will do the same. Take out the weaker, desiccated Scourge to reduce their numbers. The Forsaken will have to wait to taste our wrath. The Ebon Blade will prevail. Dried up scourge, weak abominations, strong. We defeat strong abominations. We win war. Need assistance? Haraj the summoner is bolstering the scourge defense with simple skeletons, an army of weaklings that will overwhelm you before it overpowers you. He has assembled enemy. He has assembled enemy within Anderhal's northern towers that spew these skeletons out at an alarming rate. But I've got the solution. Their function is simple. Throw these grenades at the bone animus, or for that matter, a mob of skeletons, and we'll reduce them to splinters. Off and away. Okay, so what are we actually doing here? Uh... I'm just killing mobs. And that's it. have a uh, quest to go f throw something, throw grenades that weren't apparently. Instantly kills any stick bone berserkers. This is like a horde NPC, isn't it? I don't think we're supposed to be fighting those ones. Oh my god, that did a lot of healing, what the hell? Death Guard, that sounds like the Sylvanas troop, right? I feel like it's. I don't feel like we're supposed to be in this area. Okay, we're really getting screwed over by our, by our AOE damage. Keep fighting mobs we don't need to fight. There's a Rash, the summoner, I assume. We're going to be fighting him at some point. Oh, we dinged. Oh, wow. We got wings as well. That's a big deal. Let's do it. Oh, my God. That was a lot of healing. Oh, we finally got wings. That's good. Dark Master Ganling as well. Okay, I have to reread this quest because I have no idea what we're looking for. 
Lang's hand grenades. <laughs> Within Anderhal's Northern Towers. Oh, we got a green. Leather Hands, 39 eye level. Put those on. That's cool. Northern Towers, meaning... Well There's chess? I doubt it. Those are probably classic things. I assume that's what we're looking for, that tower over there. I mean, there's towers all over the place, but I wouldn't really consider them northern. There's still stuff in here. Oh, rattle gore. Holy shit. Okay, well, that's going to be something for later, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't think we're finishing this in one sitting, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Haven't even done one quest already, and it's already 3 o'clock. Keep aggroing more and more stuff. Although we do need to kill it, at least. I'd like to know why we're fighting it, and I don't know why. There's like not a lot of ways around this. So it's gotta be it, right? Yeah, yeah, this is it. Oh, wow. We still need behemoths? No. Let's try to head back. I am here to serve. You may not act quickly, but at least you do not fail me. Very well, I will have a more important task for you when the time is right. None shall oppose you, Death Lord. Abomination strong, Metro Light stronger. Hi, how are you? These grenades are all explosives, nothing more. I may not be a goblin engineer, but I still understand the value of being able to explode things every once in a while. Uh, with the Animus destroyed, the next logical step is to take out Araj himself, and to take a shard of his phylactery. You've probably already seen him, lurking in the fountain in the center of town. Take my grenades with you. They won't do anything to Araj, but if he decides to summon any of those skeletons, you can use them to blow them away. Again. Be seeing you. I am yours to command. The Skolomance is one of the few Scourge strongholds remaining in west of Throndal. The headmaster of Skolomance is a cultist by the name of Darkmaster Ganling, and he's made his appearance on the battlefield. This will be his final mistake. 
You'll find Gandling in a square near the southern end of town. I want you to fight and weaken Gandling. I will join you to help finish him off. We do what the living cannot. Gandling is strong, but do not worry. I will join you shortly after you begin the fight with him. Gandling has brought his lieutenant Radogor with him. This clattering horror is far more dangerous than any of his other scourge you will find upon the battlefields, even the abominations. You'll find Radogor within an old town hall building near the center of town. I recommend caution before fighting him. He will not be a pushover. The Ebon Blade will prevail. God, wings is so strong. I can't, I can't believe that. It's crazy. I'm really glad that's going to make this a lot better. And then Galing's over there, right? Enough of this. The cult of the dam doesn't need Anderhall. This worthless city is yours to fight over. Tolterra. I heard rumors that you were here in Lordaeron. You heard correctly. I want to give you a chance to kill me again. It looks like it may have come to that. Yes, it may, but not today. With the scourge out of the way, I will plan to pull my troops back and regroup. I see. Then I will do the same. But you must be aware, Kaltir. We are brothers no longer. You are a member of the Horde now, and I of the Alliance. Eventually, we will fight this battle for Anderhal, and only one of us can walk off the battlefield victorious. Yes, I know. And don't think I'll go easy on you. Yeah, very well. Look forward to it. Okay, cool. That was pretty neat. Uh, the first battle for Anderhal. The second battle for Anderhal. That's neat. So this is a pretty interesting zone now that I think about it. So this is like, we've done step one. We've cleared cleared out the... That was pretty... That, handled, that happened a little too fast for my liking, but... Uh, it is presumably over. We'll see. I love the way this place looks now, though, honestly. I am here to serve. Arrives a formidable opponent. 
Barrage dead. This is good. The gnome has done his part in winning this war, as have you. We do what the living cannot. Excellently done. And now, with the leader of the Scourge forces eliminated from Anderhal, we bide our time. None shall oppose you, Death Lord. The Alliance are victorious, and our forces are still strong. Military strategy dictates that we attack the Forsaken now, while they are recovering and unaware. I made a deal, however. We will wait. We attack Kul Tira and its troops when the time is right. In the meantime, speak with Guinea Goodwin and take a flight to Chilwin Camp to our south. Commander Ashlam Valerfis will give you your next assignment. You will hear from me when you are needed again in Anderhal. We do what the living cannot. Okay, cool. We're not actually going to fly there, of course. We're going to ride there because that's what we're doing, but. All right, so that is the Western Plagueland, or Eastern Plagueland's quest now. Yeah, all right, so that's... I guess as soon as we finish this, we'll have one of four. Maybe we will finish this on it. That seems like that happened very quickly. War arrived shortly before you did. With the Scourge ejected from Anderhal, we are one step closer to retaking Anderhal. You must be prepared for battle. Whether that battle is against the Forsaken in Anderhal, against the Scourge in the east, or against some yet unknown foes. What? Whether that battle is against... Okay, start over. <laughs> we must always be prepared for battle. Whether that battle is against the Forsaken in Anderhal, against the Scourge in the East, or again, some yet unknown foe is unknown. What is known is that we must be ready. We are low on arrows. I can obtain the shafts and heads, but I still need feathers. The birds that circle to the Northwest typically molt this time of year. Would you mind traveling out into the field and gathering some of our feathers for our camp? See you around. Can I help you? I hail from Westfall, far to the south, as do these men that travel with me. We are farmers and nothing more. I've been told that Lordaeron has been healed and that it will be ready for tilling. However, this commander now tells me that it's too dangerous to proceed. He says that there's a war going on and that the Plaguelands still aren't healed. Before anything else, I need to get some food in my men's stomachs. Anything will do. Bear seems to be plentiful. For the alliance. Okay, cool. So that's, uh, that's interesting. Let's uh, vendor real quick. Up all this, we did not get any upgrades. Go with honor, friend. There's Anchorite Truin and High Priestess McDowell. Maybe she's Go gonna give us Ford again. <laughs> okay, so Bear and Brown Feather Quill. Where is this meant to be? The birds that circle to the northwest. So we're just like in this area, basically. Looks like there's a some uh, a rare up there too. It's a vengeance thing. That's actually from killing up the bear, though. It's like some kind of weird buff. Oh, we got a helmet. Oh, shit. And it's... Oh, that's awesome. It's like the perfect helmet. Wow, that's great. That could not have happened. That's great. That's perfect. We even got a nice little... Like, it doesn't look stupid, either. Fits well with the paladin theme. Wings is 3 minutes CD currently, but it'll be down to 2 eventually, and that's great. That's going to be great. Wait, are there actually birds somewhere? 
Uh, there are, but those are way too high in the sky to be aggroing. Probably missing something. There's probably... Oh, they're just on the ground, I see. Killing way too many bears, honestly. We need to find these arrows. There's not a lot of them, it seems, because I don't know how I haven't noticed that yet. Yeah, very. I mean, I don't. They're hard to spot, I guess. up here. We got a gun, but even though we're a dwarf, we can't equip it. Yeah, that's, I don't know what that is, what that actually does, but that was a big power up when that happened. It's a huge proc, I guess, from killing bears or something. I'm not actually sure. I remember coming through here and accidentally getting attacked by bears at one point and getting that. I'm like, oh my god, it's the vengeance thing. That's exactly what it looks like. Let's find this rare. This is certainly, certainly a good example of using the land well, though. They basically took, like, the main questing area out and added a, a whole new one. <laughs> like, this is not something that you would ever really be a part of in classic this area. Oh my god, of course. Always oh, a stun. It's crazy. Okay, we got a cloak, which we just got the same transmog from, but this one is... Yeah, I just don't think it's worth losing main stat right now. I'm quite sure it's not worth losing main stat. Must be a huge haste buff or something. All right, I assume we're heading back. We're leveling fast, though. I'm telling you, 37 will be 38 after these quests.
It's good to see you back, Metro. I'll let my Fletchers get to work on these. I'm glad to see you being so useful right away. Perhaps I will have some more exciting tasks for you. I've traveled a long way. Anything you can spare would be appreciated. And you hunt like a true paladin. Even if we can't set up our homesteads, at least we can still eat. Oh, yo, that's big. God, that's a good piece, too. All the way to epic as well. Oh, that's huge. That's really nice. And it's got crit on it. That is so big. I think we missed a quest, though. What can I do for you? Oh, no, no. This is... Okay, let's just pick this up and get this out of the way. I'm going to keep seeing that and getting confused. There's another quest. Need help? This was definitely not there before. Yeah, okay. What can I do for you? Uther's Blessing. These farmers from the south wish to take these farms, but I can't let them enter the plague land unprepared. Even with the scourge gone, danger still looms in the form of the Forsaken. No, we must be ready to fight. And that includes our new visitors. Before doing anything else, however, I would recommend that you travel to Uther's tomb to the east and place this tribute before a statue to ask for his blessing. Speak with the priest that tends to the tomb when you are finished. Have a good one. Greetings. Sorrow Hill, up the road to the northeast, was one of the first places that the Argent Crusaders and Cenarian Circle were able to heal. The area is now freed of the scourge. However, there are still many specters of the past that, for some reason, have not passed on to the next world. They may be mourning, mourning, they may be unfinished business, or they may just be lost. Take my thurible and use it to douse them with holy incense. One way or the other, we will help them move on to the next plane. Be careful. Guess they don't want to go. What is this? That would be mostly not fighting stuff. This kind of quest sucks for us because we have to fight one thing at a time. So is there any, no, there's like no treasures at all in this zone. Oh, Parth Glen is a quest hub now, huh? I guess we'll see that soon. So I think the last chapter of this zone is really long. Ding 38 as well, very good. Let's get a nice shot of this. This will be good.
be with you. You and the humans at Chowin Camp wish to retake Anderhal. I wish you luck. If you truly intend to move forward in this battle for Anderhal, well, perhaps I can't help. To the east lies a large crypt. The bottom level of the crypt was used once for the storage of weapons and armor, until the scourge came. Now that the undead have left, the weapons are free for the taking. Most of the weapons are probably rusted and rotten by now, but they will serve better than any tunics and pitchforks. Okay, so that's actually, we're actually going back to the place where I killed that rare. Presumably. I have to imagine. Uh, it's been 36 minutes, I guess, so we'll see if it's up again. I doubt it. That's an awesome area. And that area was not like that in Cataclysm. They, did, they, they made that even more nice in Legion because of the uh, Paladin stuff that comes through there. Scattered all over the bottom level of the crypt, you find shattered crates that once held weapons and armor. It appears that somebody got here before you did. As you turn around, you see the silhouettes of shambling skeletons on the stairs. The undead aren't gone from this crypt. They were lying in wait. Furthermore, they appear to be armed with the weapons that you came for. You'll have to escape from the crypt. On your way out, you should gather as many pieces of equipment as you can. Okay, we got a couple there that time. First, did not give any. I was worried about that. Oh, we don't actually go back here. All right, that makes sense, actually.
King's honor, friend. Hopefully most of them pass on peacefully. I thank you. Light bless you. You need something? What happened at Uther's tomb, Metro? Attacked by ghosts. Strange. I suppose the crypt wasn't fully healed after all. You just missed Thurman Grant. You remember that oaf of a farmer that was here earlier? He took his men with him and he traveled to the nearest farm, against my orders. Ooh. The farmers traveled to the Writhing Haunt, an old farm to the northeast, across the river. Someone needs to keep an eye on them. Bring those rusty weapons and armors you found. We can't have them fighting with pitchforks. See you around. These men and women here at Chilwin Camp have noble goals, but their ultimate purpose is war. I would like to offer you an opportunity to pursue more peaceful goals. At the Mender's Stead, beyond war-torn Anderhill to the north, the Arden Crusade has joined forces with the Cenarian Circle. Together we work on healing this land from the plague that used to reign here. Are you interested in joining our cause, Paladin? Arden Crusade, and no more Arden Dawn, yeah. Okay, so anyway, we have a... Uh an upgrade that I don't know if I'm going to put on. Uh, 8 stam, 10 stam, 9 haste, and then no other stat. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. We lose main stat too, so probably pick the shield. Although I wouldn't have used it. It would have vendored more at least. Okay. Writhing Haunt. That's all the way over there. And, uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Could we have gone this way? Hold on, I want to see what's over here. You can go this way. I guess this is the Horde Town, the Horde Base. Yeah, this is all different now. And there's a rare Iron Web. Are these two separate? Yeah, I think they are. The Mender's Stead is late. Something we'll do much later. That's up here? Yeah, okay. Now I remember. Did Valor for send you? He doesn't know when to let up, does he? Well, now you're here, he'll gladly take the armor off your hands. You can keep the weapons, though. These men wouldn't know which end to hold. I told Commander Valorfest we could hold our own, and we intend to. I had a little conversation with the Death Knight General, the Sarian, on our way over here. My farmer plan my farmers plan to help in our own way. We will take control of this farm, begin to cultivate the land, and then when the battle for Anderhal commences, we will attack the Forsaken from the rear. They'll never expect it. First, we need to get rid of the Forsaken Outriders. Kill some, then return to me. See you later. I have to kill 10, that's a lot. Male Helm. Okay, that might be better, right? Crit verse, it's a lot of verse. We lose crit, but it's just better in every other way, huh? 39. Actually, I think I'll keep this on. It just looks cooler. 
Yeah, it's really not that big of a difference. It's not actually better, it's just a side grade effectively. Okay, I have to actually pull threat, I guess. You fight well, Dwarf. My men could stand to learn a few moves from an experienced paladin like you. In fact, you might still be able to help train some of my men. You'd probably notice the abomination outside. We initially tried to fight him, but he didn't fight back. He seems to want to help out on the farm. Take a group of four settlers and challenge this abomination to combat. He seems to be pretty tough, but with one of him and five of you, I think you'll have a chance of beating him. If you really want to help out, you can help me and my friends with some combat. You want fight? Alright, gory fight. You farmers fight more good. Hey there. We can handle things from here. I thank you for your help. I assume that when we next meet, it will be in the battle. Take care of yourself until then. We got an epic upgrade there as well. Pretty good. It's got parry on it. Uh, well, uh, it's got intellect. It's just higher item level too. I guess we'll throw them on. Don't really like uh, the look of them. So Cataclysm model for sure, but it's a big upgrade. And we now have multiple epics on. That's cool. Okay, so that is now two thirds of the zone done. So we actually have to do the Menderstead first. I remember this. Oh, wait, maybe not. I remember doing this with Cop, and it was like... It seemed out of order for some reason. Welcome, Paladin. As you can see, our camp is a joint expedition between Arden Crusade members and Cenarian Circle Druids, but we welcome all who wish to heal the land. No longer does the Scourge hold this area. We, the living, are retaking Lordaeron. We have already taken great strides, as you have already seen. The earth flowers, the trees grow tall and green, and the wildlife is beginning to return. Yet a few remnants of undeath remain. While the trees and grass prosper, the animals are struggling. Something is preventing them from healing, and I intend to find out what... Bring me samples from the plagued wildlife so I may study them more closely. Do not lose faith. Ah, I am Adrian Tauhide, a druid of the Cenarian Circle. You can thank us for healing this land, where once there was only death. We accept all who choose to follow the druidic path, regardless of race, faction, or talent. Occasionally this means we enlist a druid who needs more help than others. I'd like you to meet Zen Kiki. He's pretty new, and he's still learning his craft. Would you mind taking him out for a while? You can practice combat on the plagued animals that roam nearby. Walk with the earth. Ready to go, Mon. Fine, Dwarf, I'm glad someone's here to help me out. We Cenarian Druids have recultivated Dalson's farm immediately behind me. The land has flourished and our crops have been successful, mostly. A few plants seem to still be infected by the plague that ran through this land. Perhaps our roots were too deep. 
Perhaps their seats were weak. I cannot say. All I can say is that I need an able paladin like you to help remove the bad plants from the good ones. Pop in any time. Great to meet you. Okay, we're gonna do. That's the next. Yeah, that's the. That's why it seemed out of order because. The lead-in takes you there, but both are happening at the same time. So let's do that last. Um, anyway, there's apparently rares. Bad corn. I don't actually know. This area's got... Yeah, okay. I knew there was more than just fighting. I knew there was more than just, like, picking corn and stuff. Brought into the core, yeah, that's... I agree. Not the best quest. Here we get gloves, cloth, probably not, 39, 39, no thanks. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of corn needed. Gotta make sure we include that bit with Zenkigi there, that's it's funny. He's a new druid, he's a troll for the first time playing druid, you know, so they just added it. That's a pretty clever little thing on Blizzard's part, to be honest. Okay, so we did that, now we need to do wildlife. I have to do a lot of stuff with wildlife. That buff, it's insane. It's 
gonna be like haste and damage. It's really crazy. That was one of my favorite things from the old days. There was talents called Flurry, both Enhance, uh, Shaman, and Fury Warrior had them. And just, every once in a while you just like attack so fast, it was so cool. Uh, there's not really stuff like that in the game anymore, to my knowledge. Scarlet rares, that's cool. All bears, we don't. Don't need bears. Oh my god. <laughs> Just blew two globals on that mob evading, that's fine. Lurker and Mist Lurker. I feel like they must not be over here. No spiders at all over here. They're probably on the other side of the road. That's where the spiders used to be. There was a quest here to help a druid, basically, and he's dead or something like that, so you have to kill a bunch of different animals. Not quite the same quest, but I recognize it. Plus the divine favor. Oh my god, it's crazy. Heals me for like 50% of my health, and that's like the most efficient global we could probably do when we're fighting more than one mob. rare is. Should be very near. Oh, we're not even close to being done with this either. We need six more wildlife. I'm probably just not wearing belts or cloth anymore, honestly. No matter what it is. The gear we have is good enough. Yeah, I guess Senkiki's we're just too far away from where we're supposed to do the quest. 
Which doesn't make sense, because I guess it doesn't matter, but... Hopefully he's gonna return, or maybe we... You know. Hopefully he's about to return. Guess we'll have to go back to town and talk to a NPC and hopefully get another copy of Zenkiki. Unless he died or something, I don't I have no idea. He's over there. How may I aid you? Ancestors watch over you. They thought of it. Good. I was worried. Okay, we're gonna be 39. Might yeah. You know it's, it's four though. Definitely not finished in this. I don't know. It's it depends on how much more is left after this. I imagine there's a lot more. It's not just one quest. It's basically just one quest line. We need to kill a lot more stuff. Six more things, I think. God, that is just something. It's like bloodlust. The Naru have not forgotten us. Once the animals are healed, our duties here will be nearly complete. There will be more than enough, Metro. Now I will need some time to perform my studies. Oh my god. We are not the only Argon Crusaders here in the Plaguelands. Our headquarters, Hearthgland, lies to the north. Even nearer to the north is a small lumber mill, which we used to control. Nathaniel Dumas is my main contact at the Limber Mill. I encourage you to speak with him should you find yourself in that part of the woods. Good health and long life. Who wish to speak? It looks like Zen Zenkiki is still having a little bit of trouble with his shape shifting. Among other things, Zenkiki needs to work on his spell accuracy. I could see his rat spell spiraling out of control even from here. In fact, I used them as a marker to follow your progress through the woods. Perhaps we can use Zenkiki's another way. Take him up to the top of the hill just to our east. The diseased hawks that circle above that hill must be destroyed. Ask Zenkiki to shoot at those hawks. Even if he can't hit them, he will distract them so you can finish them off. We'll be at your back. You've come to the right spot, you have. Thank you for your help. I know that picking vegetables isn't the most heroic task imaginable. Cheers, mate. We got Devo, which we're never going to use. Uh, anyway, so now we go... That's interesting. So now we're going up to Hearthglen. Yeah, so we're definitely not finishing this today, but in this episode. So what's the, where's this hill? It's up here.
This is interesting. Again, yet another, you know, this is really not an area to ever be. <laughs> they turn this into a whole quest. But it sucks for us again because we can't pull more than one. I thought maybe if I clicked him really quick, he'd keep finding more, but it seems like as long as the first one he pulls aggros, he will never you know, just attack this one instead. He's doing a good job, though, to be fair. He's getting them down. We got boots. Yes, it burns like the moon. That's funny. Okay, let's take a look at these boots. 39, 42, so yeah. Throwing them on. Oh, they look like uh, something a hunter would like. I didn't realize that was a path. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. How many birds did Zenkiki end up killing? None? You killed them all yourself. Uh, all right. I suppose we'll have to find another use for him then. I'll let you know when the time is right. Okay, so that's it for that. Now we're going to head up to the Hearth Glen area. We have about 25-ish minutes left. 20-ish minutes left. It's going to be a long episode as well. But, uh, yeah, I really got to get this done. I want to make sure I can get this done this week. I'm going to try to... I guess I'll get back on after golf and try to get another segment of it done. Problem is, how do we get up there? Lots of knolls. Am I confused? There's no way this is... The lumber mill is like... Over here, isn't it? Yeah, I guess we're not going up the road yet. There's so many rares. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Welcome to Northridge, Paladin. It's good to be back in Northridge. I've got my mill, my beautiful wife, a bouncing baby boy. I've even put in my hat with the Ardent Crusade. I'll be supplying Tyrion's forces with lumber. My lumberjacks will were being exceptionally productive too, up until the point when the spiders came. Now they refuse to go any deeper in the woods. Maybe you can help me out. Hop on one of my horses and use it to frighten those spiders. Maybe we can avoid bloodshed and just scare them away. Careful. I'm happy for Nathaniel. He spent so long trying to return to Northridge, and now with the Scarlet Crusade out of the way, he can finally move back home. It's just, even for such a seemingly idyllic setting, it's not really the best place to raise a family. For example, along this valley's edge, you will find rabid foxes searching for innocent prey. Every once in a while, I catch a glimpse of one looking right at me. 
Please, Paladin, remove some of these foxes. I don't feel safe with them near. Be careful. Okay, we need to take a second here. I need to figure out, is this guy somebody who's been in the game or what? Nathaniel Dumas. Gotta be, right? Classic. Yeah, he was in Chillwind Camp. Oh, a plague upon the... Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's great. This is the guy who gives you the quest to come up here and turn the termites. Oh, that's just great. That's really cool. See, that's stuff like that it makes it all work. Even though Cataclysm did so many bad things, that's definitely... Northridge spiders frightened? How do we do this again? We just run over them, right? There's something to it. I can't remember what it is. Definitely need something to it. Let's see. Oh, a Mustang. Yeah, okay. Oh, I remember this. Actually, no, it's very easy. I thought it was something that I wasn't. Not enough foxes in this area. We have to move, go somewhere else, probably. What staff? Can't use that. Oh no, there's some down here. Is that a rare? Some wasp. For some reason. Male chest, it's probably a huge upgrade. Yep. that. Head back, turn it in. There must be stuff going on at Hearthland too. There's a lot of rares, so we definitely want to try to find them. Maybe we'll just do that at the end of all this. Need help? Safe travels. 
Doesn't seem like they're bringing us uh, close to them. It sounds like they're certainly afraid of the Mustang, but they're not leaving for good. I can't have you running around on a horse forever. Nor do I want you to think you. Bloodshed it is. The Hard Lord was generous enough to send some of his recruits to protect us here at the mill. With your horsemanship skills and their martial prowess, we can do away with the spider problem easily. Hop back on that Mustang and scare those spiders again. But this time, scare them all the way up here to the mill. These Hearthland recruits can make can handle things from here. Yeah, this is the this is the quest that was really annoying. I remember this now. Hello. Further to the south, you will find Red Pine Knolls, a new arrival to the area. You probably passed them on your way here. Nathaniel pretends like they're not a problem, but I know better. I've seen them running away with our lumber at night. I don't know what they do with lumber, but they don't seem particularly handy. That doesn't stop them from stealing it. Head down to their camps and steal that lumber back. Farewell. Stand still. I have my doubts about these Knoll's intentions. They haven't attacked us yet, but their numbers are growing, and they seem to always have the weapons ready. I'm no military expert, but that seems a little aggressive to me. Maybe if we took away some of their weapons, they'd be a little less likely to pose a threat to our mill. I feel much better about the whole situation if you went down there and brought some of those weapons back to me. See you okay. Can do. So we get on the horse. This is this is the part that sucks. I remember this horrible, horrible quest. We have to like drive them forward, and they don't really want to move this direction at all. They kind of just spread out. Looks like we got a little lucky though, this first batch. Hopefully that was close enough. No, I guess it wasn't. Right. Wait, no it wasn't? We only have three right now? Terrible quest. Cataclysm at its worst. Trying to get way too fancy with these quests. Just let me kill them. Way more enjoyable. You have to be facing the mob too, I guess. <laughs> Maybe it would let me kill them, I wonder. I don't want to find out. What? See, this, they don't even give credit half the time. Like, what's even going on? That one I knocked too far in, maybe, or something? Get something out of this set. Be a cool world quest, maybe, but that's about it. I don't think these spiders would be this scared of a horse neighing at it, though. It's just they're like half the size of the horse, actually. Like, I'm not sure the horse would even win a fight against these spiders. Greetings. That's much more like it. Now my lumberjacks can get to work again. Nice riding out there. You got a pretty impressive silhouette on that Mustang. Oh, before you go, I have a message for you. There's someone in Hearthglen who'd like to meet with you. Said he's heard your name pop up a few times already. Consider yourself lucky, Metro. Not everybody gets a personal audience with High Lord Tyrion Fordring. Oh, and feel free to use one of my Mustangs for the ride up there. They're the fastest money can buy. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's go do the Null stuff, and then that'll probably be where we have to end for today. What is it that we're doing? Ten piles of lumber and just killing a bunch of... Wait, what? 
We're killing them. Oh, I see. We're just like looting them. And then getting the lumber. Don't do lava knockback thing, whatever it's called. So presumably these are the exact same quests for Horde and Alliance? I don't actually know. This is gonna be just healed the whole time. This is gonna be land hands actually. Okay, where's the, where's the rares at? This is always the path up to. Yeah, there he is. He's killed all those gnolls, that's cool. Chest. All right, let's do it. Nice upgrade there. Well, actually, I don't even. Probably not that big of an upgrade, but. Be it for this quest. Okay, where's the other rare, though? Oh, wait, what? Runic plate leggings? What? He drops a pattern. There he is. Just banging away on something in the middle of the... the knolls. Were these mobs always here, maybe? I doubt that executioner was there, that dude. He was in the middle of nowhere. Wow, two greens? Is that just luck? A one-handed sword, which we don't actually have the transmog of. And then a cloth chest, which we're certainly not wearing. Okay, well that's gonna have to probably be it for this one. A little bit longer episode of this too, and I was really hoping to get the whole zone done in this one, but yeah. It's gonna be a relatively tough thing to edit, but I don't think it will be that bad. Just have to sit down and do it. Um, but yeah, so let's go turn these in, and then that'll be it. And the next episode will go 
to Hearth Glen, which I'm very interested in seeing. That was kind of the main reason why I wanted to do this, was because I wanted to see what was going on in Hearth Glen. I think, I, I remember doing it with Cop, it wasn't that long ago, but yeah, it's not, there's definitely no Scarlet stuff up there, but I, I'm really, I like how many rares there are that have Scarlet stuff going on with them. Which ones have we killed so far? Scarlet Smith, Scarlet Executioner, Scarlet High Claris, we never killed that one. Oh, Scarlet Interrogator we killed, but yeah. We never even went for that one for some reason. Let's go see if this ham fist is up. Or ham pied. <laughs> it's a big boar, maybe. Nice. Yeah, big boar. So predictable. That's one of those boars that have like no eyes. Yeah, it's a dead boar, yeah. Scary. Leather belts. Plate belts. Right. I think we'll ding 40. Oh, I really wouldn't mind getting 40. Hmm. Let's see. How many quests do we have to turn in? Only two. The next one will ding us 40, probably. I don't think two will get us there. It's actually, it's less than four bars, so it should. Well met. Some of the old lumberjacks tell me that the Red Pine lived in the area several years ago, but left when the plague arrived. That doesn't make it okay for them not to steal. I'll just put this back. I'll just put this back over in the lumber stores outside. Nathaniel probably won't even notice it was missing. Have a good one. I don't want to order some sort of mass null genocide because of a mother's worries. I just feel safe in my own home. Thank you. I'll be throwing these in the fire. We don't want those Noels just sneaking in and stealing them back. Oh, I forgot. We also got a wrist upgrade that I never put on. I don't know why these items have no stats. It seems so strange. But yeah, it's a huge upgrade. We got a lot of epics on now, guys. Okay, so I, I'm going to go try to find uh, 40. Let's get to 40. We'll go kill one rare, and that'll be it. Oh, yeah. I don't have to go right now, but I don't want to just start a whole new quest line and then do one quest in it and end uh, in the episode. It should be the Scarlet Interrogator over here, and there's also, uh, I don't know what that is. Do we just not go over? Oh, God. Do we just not go over there? Maybe as Horde you go there. So the next thing I want to do is the zone is Horde. I might actually just do that. Yeah, that's, I might actually do that. We'll see how, uh... I don't know. I don't know if I should make a separate video about it on Horde. I doubt it's different enough as a thing. It's probably just one... Like, one or two quest lines. I don't know. Beast here. Turned the webcam back on before I forget. Yeah, sorry, I hate to do the whole episode with it off, but we got to do it. We got to kill two birds with one stone, as they say. Scarlet High Clarist. All right, so this will definitely be. Light condemns all who harbor evil. Now you will die. Good point. I don't know why they're burning purple. Yeah, this it must be like a horde. Oh, that's gotta be it. This is the horde one, and then this was the alliance one. Or writhing hot. I don't know. Garen's withering as well. We haven't gone to.
God, that shield's pretty potent. Level 40, and we also got legs, male legs, crit verse. Big upgrade. This is one of the areas you would come and kill Scarlet for that one quest. So what's happening here? Alliance laborers, huh? That's odd. Oh, I know what's happening here. Yeah, definitely a horde quest then. This is definitely... These are the type of laborers that you see the horde come and kill, right? Uh, one more rare. Let's see. There's also a chest. Although, again, I, I think this is probably a chest that's not here, but we'll see. This is the house that used to have that quest in it. Does the music play? No, no longer the house, it seems. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a chest, at least not here. Maybe it's in this one? It'd probably be outside. Don't know why Blizzard doesn't didn't want to... Like, there's so much exploration that you could encourage, right? Okay, let's kill that rare too. Oh, anyway, let's get our new talent. Seraphim, that's gonna be so nice. Yeah, the rest is that none of that helps us at all, so. Seraphim now actually helps us. Oh, it's a bird, not, not what I expected. Honestly, that one might be better. I don't know, though. These literally only have stats on the main stats on them. <laughs> I feel like secondary stats are pretty good for us. How long does this actually last? 15 seconds only? But it's up every 45 seconds, so that should be, like, pretty often. Okay, anyway, that's going to be it then. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.